Joining me now is Dr. Joel Selenikio. He is CEO and co-founder of Magpie, a mobile data collection and messaging software system. So humans versus AI, no contest? I mean, what do you see? It must, you must see it as, I know you're one of these forward thinking guys. I saw your TED talk. Uh, what do you see? I mean, how is this going to revolutionize things? Mike, I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's as big as the internet or probably as big as computers. Uh, it's just one more way in which we can automate what humans only used to be able to do. So uh, with AI in healthcare, for example, and this is a big deal in the United States, but a, maybe a bigger and more advanced deal in China, uh, you're basically taking things that until recently could only be done by doctors, and now you have algorithms that can do them. And more and more, this is the case. I think the difference in China is that they, uh, in the United States, we have plenty of doctors, but our healthcare system's too expensive. In China, uh, it's not the price, it's that they just don't have enough doctors, right? China's got uh, more obese kids than any other country in the world. I mean, China has a lot more of almost everything, I think, than many countries in the world. They, they need that expertise and they need to have it scaled and they need to have it soon. And this is why AI is, it's rolling out in a big way in China in a way that we're just seeing the first signs of in the United States. What are the pluses? I mean, is it a speedier diagnosis, you think? Uh, Fa faster, cheaper. Faster and cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Um, they, we already have, even in the United States, we've already developed algorithms where you can feed an x-ray. Uh, at this point, it's very limited to certain diagnoses, but you can feed an x-ray essentially into a computer system and have it read it as well as a very experienced radiologist. Now, as you know, radiologists are, are very well paid and highly professional, obviously, but to be able to drive down the cost of that radiology, that reading in the United States, it is a big driver of what we're looking at here. Again, in China, it's not so much the cost of the radiologist, it's just the fact that they don't have enough of them. But either way, whether, it's, whether you just need to get more you know, x-rays read faster, or you need to drive the price down, AI is delivering on that. And again, in China, where there is perhaps less regulation um, and the government is, seems to be backing the push toward AI more than in the United States. It, you have, uh, as, your, as your feature mentioned, companies like Tencent or Alibaba right. who are pushing you know, way into the healthcare field in a way that companies like, for example, Amazon or Google are kind of talking about making the first steps but not really quite as in the hospital as you find in China. The other thing that I, uh, the takeaway that I got from that story, and I want you to talk about this as well, is, is it's one thing to go into a hospital in Beijing or Shanghai, but when they start talking about remote areas where, as you mentioned, you, you have mm -hmm. a, uh, less doctors, probably less facilities, uh, it's such a huge, expansive country, sure. it's, it's, that's a big plus too, isn't it? You know, it really is, and I think, uh, again, it's, it's funny how the advent of AI is really, it's, it's different depending on how much money you have, it, it's different depending on where you live in the world. Because again, let's say in the United States, it's, it's not that we need to have AI to give us all access to healthcare, because we already have access to healthcare. It, it's just too expensive. But most people in the world have never even seen a doctor or a nurse, and they never will over their lifetime. So for those areas, which probably includes some areas of rural China, if not perhaps the rural United States, maybe that's a stretch, but certainly in these very, very rural areas all around the world, AI has the potential of letting us scale medical expertise in a way that we have just never been able to do before. Yeah, it's a whole new world. Jewel, sure thanks is. so much for coming in. Really appreciate it.